Hello guys and welcome back to Hammer Time episode 31. We're getting deep into season 4 and as you can see we've actually done pretty well. We've not had that many losses. We're winning the majority of the games. The three draws came well, three of the four draws came essentially towards the start of the season, but a lot, all of them away from home. So we've got the second legs to try and bring the second legs, the second game, the returning game to try and counter that. But Chelsea's going to see as well. I'll just quickly update you since last time. Anyway, Leeds three nil. We played last time. Then Carabag, I believe it's pronounced Carabag, beat them three nil in the game in the Euro uh, Europa League, not Euro Cup, the Europa League. Then Aston Villa a four three game. What a game this was. This was a, a really an exciting game I've got to admit so we kick off the game we score in the first 10 minutes in the 8th minute with De Ketelaer then Watkins gets a goal and he gets another one in the 52nd minute after half time so at half time it was one all then De Ketelaer in the 59th then Christopher Eye with a header in the 71st the highlight carried on Oli Watkins then secured his hat-trick to make it 3 all then for the last part of the game we went attacking we managed to get the win and these are the type of games we wouldn't have won last year which I want to try and emphasize on we wouldn't have won that game last year the uh, previous years in the save that is we'd have just given away the goal in the last minute and lost there then a 2-1 win against Tottenham at home we did concede in the 33rd minute but in the 69th minute Di Ketelaer he's scoring a lot of goals this year and MC Coco Makoko doing the work for us as well then in the Europa League we beat Sevilla at home I'm pretty happy with this one Thiago Almado with a 1-0 win there then Southampton Southampton and Everton are the bogey teams. They had uh, something about them. But this game, again, very exciting towards the last few minutes of the game. Di Ketelaer scoring the 85th minute and the 90th minute was Lucina Triore, the new signing for uh, Southampton, who they replaced Bellotti with, just scoring to a brace there as well. And in the Carabao Cup, our cup, 3-2, we managed to get a 94th minute winner with Conor Gallagher. Fantastic game for us there. And then Chelsea managed to outdo us with Mason Mount and Ryan Gravenberch scoring the two goals for them. So, that leads us on to Sevilla today. We've got Sevilla. It's going to be an interesting game. I'm going to look forward to it. We're going to try and secure a win because then that sees us go, if we just go into the Group F, we'll go th six points clear of Sevilla with the games against Carabag and Wolfsberger and then essentially we should be winning those two games and it also gives a chance for Carabag to maybe get back into this second spot and see Sevilla out of the, out of the um, Europa League but I doubt that's going to happen. So, we'll, we'll go into the fixtures. We'll get the tactical meeting up, uh, apply that to it we go balanced as well because we are away from home but I'm pretty happy with the side that we've been playing lately Johnson's not very happy he wants to ensure that he has a few starts so we'll be playing him quite a bit more now but realistically we're looking pretty good I've got to admit Di Catalea is injured at the moment so he's not going to start MC Coco and Dolberg starting in the side because I think Mikoko is just just that little bit better than Raspadori at the moment he's been playing uh, despite the fact Raspadori's got these five goals in great form he just he does a lot in the in the league uh, in the Europa Leagues and Carabao Cups and stuff so MC Coco I've got him in, in there anyway Dahlberg returning so he can have a bit of form out there Thiago Armada has turned out to be an, a sensational signing look at his stats now he's turning into a real player like a really good player we've got him signed him a new contract he's here until 2028 Really good. I'm happy with him. And then obviously we've got on the bench uh, Conor Gallagher. Feet. Demir wasn't registered, which I'm, I'm kind of regretting at the moment. As in this centre attacking midfielder role, the advanced playmaker role, he's looking really good. He's looking quite sharp at 21. He's still developing pretty well. So Almada and Di Catalea are they going to be the main three across that front line. And then you obviously have McKenny Basuma and a few others that can play in that position. But I want to try and thin out the squad a little bit. Players that aren't playing, like for example, I've not played uh, Conor Gallagher that much, but he comes in as like a backup three starts, isn't great. Luis Suarez might be a player. I, I don't know where to go with that because Suarez, as much as he's great, I don't want to keep him for two years because he's just going to be on 95k and just sitting there. So as much as he's great to bring in, he might just become a backup player. I might try and get a different contract with him. Joe Gomez, four starts. He ain't worth keeping at all. I don't think he is at all. And Jao Cancelo as well. Someone that I might just move on, to be honest. So, either way, we're going to get into the game now. Submit the side. I'll join you back for the start of the game. Hopefully, we get a win. Here we are, away from home. We're going to kick off into this Europa League game. Elsewhere in the Europa League, let's have a look at a few of the league tables, shall we, as I'm zooming out as well on the game. So, Nice and Rangers going through. Fenerbahce getting knocked out at the moment. Mo PSV and Sporting Lisbon as well. Pretty big teams in there. Wolfsburg and Astana 
t Astana tipping out Basel and Chasbenzor, what the name is, I can't remember the name of them, but um, we've got our first highlight here, actually 25 minutes in, as Johnson plays it through to Dolberg, who finds Makoko with a great ball, and he hits that first time. He's turning into a bit of a demon, Makoko, I've got to admit, he's, he's looking pretty sharp out there. I'm going to encourage the lads, as we look, we're, we're playing pretty well, we're playing pretty well. The stats, I've, I've noticed lately, we're keeping possession a lot more, the, the team seems to be connecting and getting a bit of chemistry between each each other we're, we're managing to not concede that much as well which i might it might bite me bite me a bit saying that but we're, we're playing well so far i'll take it so far i want to i might demand a bit more from the lads in a second but we can make a few changes bring a few players in in here or there but for now we're playing pretty well i've got to admit and i'm i'm pretty confident with how we're playing mckenny's looking a bit worse for wear. we'll bring on conor gallagher to try and see out the end of the game and you know what we'll bring on suarez as well because dolberg's not really been doing much for us this game either so we've got a highlight actually as we get carry on justin running down this left hand side it's going out for a throw in and i don't think that's a highlight have i pressed something accidentally no, that was just a very odd highlight to show. So 74 minutes in, Alada stands over a corner. Can we maybe get a header on it? We can. Zuma puts that over the bar, though, and it's going to look like a pretty uninspiring game as we'll demand more from the lads. I want to see a bit more of you. Come on, push forward. We should be able to get something from this. As We'll go a bit more positive. Why not? For the last 10 minutes of the game, I'm not going to force anything as Marcus Acuna stands over it. Can we get the ball away? We do. Aya heads that away. And now it's a race between Delaney and I don't know who that was. I think it might have been Johnson as Jordan's back on it. Uh, Antov finds the play. Oh, come on. Yusuf N. Nazari manages to finish that there. And that was just poor defending. Really, really poor defending all around. Not happy with that at all. How have we managed to do 88th minute now? We'll skip that. We'll have to go attacking. Come on, boys. Get something from it. Come on. We've absolutely dominated that game as well, and we've come out the lesser. Well, that's not very good for us in the Europa League, as now, despite the result, trust the process, because essentially we should have won that game. It's just a pretty pretty nice shot from them. We have to beat Karabag, we have to beat Wolfsberger, which I'm pretty confident none of us doing. But it's not fantastic for us. Dolberg's not showing up as he as much as he did last year. As you can see, 14 goals, 6 appearances. He's only had one start in the Premier League. And he's not been that much of a mainstay. But so far, in 6 appearances, no goals, 2 assists. Questionable. Questionable from the big man. But we'll have to see if we can turn this form around. Because he is 27 years of age. Might have to see him being pushed on, maybe. As we can keep Luis Suarez in there. And Raspadori and Kurt Makoko can sort of rotate in this 4-2-3-1 that I really like playing at the moment. This is the, this is the formation I'm enjoying playing. A bit suspicious there from us and I'm not happy about us losing that game to Sevilla so we'll have to change things around but either way we're looking pretty s sustainable in the league the league I'll show you the league table just before we go eighth in the league now you might think oh that's really bad there's four points difference between second and ninth and as well as that the goal difference is only five within that for us to go towards second so those four points, I'm looking to kind of recuperate because if we look at the schedule, we've already played Chelsea, we've played Southampton, who are a difficult side, nonetheless. Tottenham as well as Everton and City. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna panic. Is basically what I'm saying because we've got Liverpool United coming up next. We'll have to get through those games because they're going to be difficult games with how strong Liverpool and United are, especially. But then Leicester, who aren't looking fantastic, Blackburn, Wolves, Bournemouth, Brighton, Arsenal will be a difficult again. But these these sort of games here, these five in a row in the Premier League, I'm going to look to try and capitalise on. Now, a pretty disappointing result today, but hopefully next time against Brighton, we'll have a, a bit more of a, a, a suspenseful, a bit more of an interesting game to bring you. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy the video today. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you in the next episode. From me, Alex, have a great day. Ciao.